Okay, hey everyone, just just go away. <laughs> no, no, no. that'd be kind of rude. Just start up a video like that, like I just did, and and expect people to stay. And I hear a duck. My duck. I don't. Know. Anyways, um, sorry. It's it's been a very long time that I have done an episode at all on the channel. Uh, I've got a couple uh things going on nowadays, but you know it. It's probably for another another video, another time, you know? I'll, maybe like a vlog, I'll explain to you, but in a general way, let's get to the actual episode. So, it's been about a month or two since I made a video about my current... Buys? My current... What's the word? Not sales, my current... Things I bought. Let's just say current things I bought. So specifically, I have bought in, um, of course, on Virtual Console games. Uh, this whole episode is going to only be Virtual Console games, as in Xbox Live games, PSN games, WiiWare games, or eShop games. And Steam and PC games counts too, but I'm never getting a damn game like that, okay? <clears throat> Me and PC don't work. They're just going to get outdated in the next fucking year or two. Okay? So anyways, now let's just get to explain. Now, I don't remember if I showed this off, or not showed this off, talked about this in the last episode, but since then, I got Super Metroid on the Wii U. Now, uh, I thought I wasn't really going to play it, like, if you see my Summer Backlog Challenge, yes, I have it on the list, but in a way, I thought I was not actually going to be playing it sometime soon. Uh, I thought I might be maybe trying to play it, but... And that's actually what I got to, I guess, try to actually play it. One day, and one specific weird day, I guess, uh, I just wanted to play it. I didn't get very far, I'm not too far in it, I'm still in the beginning. I learned how to get the, the morphing ball thing, I got a new, like, ability, and that's about it. And I killed, like, the first time you see Ridley, or that might be the first time or, or at all you see Ridley in the game, but that's about as far as I got it. So anyways, so I got some Metroid on the Wii U. The next one is Strider, Genesis version. Uh, I noticed two versions of Strider. Well, actually, Strider in itself is a weird concept of a genre or genre, uh, company, serious thing. There's this Strider, which is on the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System version, NES Strider. And then there's uh, Strider for the Genesis which is a totally different kind of Strider, in a better way, way better way. And then there's another Strider, but this Strider is called Strider 2, some other words. But then the thing is, there's actually a Strider 2 on the PS1, and that Strider 2 is way better than the Strider 2 that was on the Genesis, which is kind of confusing nowadays, and I don't even think Str Strider's not even around anymore. It really isn't, but it's a, but it's a series we all know, and hopefully we'll love, but just, you know, it's a series that just hack and slash kind of thing. But still, anyways, I got started on Genesis. I have played it about uh, about an hour, maybe lower than an hour. Like, about an hour, but less. And, well, I don't know, just, I, I like the game a lot, but at the time, I'm playing way too many games. I just have to focus on, uh, like, two to three games at a time. And that was just one game I had to put inside. But Strider and Genesis, the Strider Genesis version itself is very fun. Next is Contra 3 Alien Wars. Now, Contra 3 Alien Wars. I, I somewhat knew what I was getting into when I got the game. But I did not know it was going to be that difficult. Strider 3 Alien Wars. It's a good game. But fucking hard as hell. And I mean it. Contra 3 Alien Wars, hard as hell. Uh, I don't know if there's a specific cheat that I can keep on continuing all the time, but if there is or isn't, damn. Seriously. Good game, though. Good game. Uh, next game is Wild Guns. Now, Wild Guns, surprisingly, that's actually a game I actually did put my efforts to actually playing it. Uh, and it didn't take me that long to beat. It actually took me about a week. Now, the, game, the thing is, the game's not really long at all. The game is short, but the difficulty of how hard it is makes it longer. And I gotta say, the game is hard. 
And I was just playing on normal difficulty. And the game was hard. And I mean super hard. But it's it's a game other than, like, just something totally different. And I liked it. So, it's a game very unique. I do like it a lot. So, uh, go check out uh, Wild Guns. Very, a very, very expensive game on Super Nintendo. But very worth it, probably. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Next game is... The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. Now, I got both of them the same day when it launched on the Nintendo 3DS eShop. Uh, there was a sale. You, you can get one, both games for $5. The sale's over already, so I'm sorry for that. Uh, it expired uh, June 20th, 2013, and when it first came out on like release date. Uh, the, the virtual console version. And now they're like seven dollars each. So I actually saved about four, maybe five dollars with the tax stuff on it, dollars worth of trying to get both games. Now uh, I thought hopefully they would be like, oh, maybe it'd be like a like a consolation thing that you can get both games for five dollars. Like literally just five dollars, both. Bam, not not ten, but five. But that's too good. That's too good to be true. But you know. Whatever. So, alright, the next game is the last game so far on uh, Virtual Console that I got on the Nintendo. Because I'm also going to be talking about uh, uh, Xbox. So, uh, so I got the game Yoshi. This is playing Yoshi. I think I already own that game. Yes, I got the game. I can see it right next to, next, next to, uh, what is it? Next to... Ice Climbers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade edition. So, Yoshi, um, I haven't played it yet. I haven't even played it. I just downloaded it. And I, just because I know it's a 30 cents game, it's on the Wii U, it's the 30 cents anniversary 30th Famicom thing. I haven't played it, but I got it, and that's all I really can say. But, but, but what are you saying? But Shadow! You had to maybe have played it. You have the actual cart. You remember it. In a way, I do, but not too fragrantly. I just remember it's Mario holding, like, two hands, and you have to shift hands sometimes to catch something and the other one to not. It's like, you got to put the bottom egg at, at the bottom, of course, the very bottom, and they put whatever's inside in the middle, and whatever's coming out from the top... Hurry up and put the top part of the egg into it to make one big egg, and you get like a big combo or something like that. It's a weird puzzle thing, but that's what I remember. And I don't know if that's actually the whole game. I don't. It's probably funny if it is, but in a way, that's all I remember for just playing Yoshi. So I'm pretty excited for that. So Yoshi, I, I don't think it's that long. Maybe I don't know. It's, I don't know, but in a way, it's fun. It's fun. Go check it out. And if it's for 30 cents, and I don't know how much longer it's going to be on the Wii U eShop channel. Uh, the channel. Nintendo Wii U eShop. Go check it out. It's only 30 cents. You can't, you're can't. not missing much. It's, it's 30. Go, go, go get it. So. Alright. Now we're on to Xbox. Now I think I only got in three Virtual Console games since then. Let me see. Where is it? Mm. Yes, only three. Okay. Now, uh, I just want to point out, uh, one of these are actually free, as of right now, and as of maybe forever, until, I don't know. Alright, so does the thing. Okay, so, I want to talk about that one right now, the free one, because it's probably like, oh, now you're all kind of wanting to pay attention, if you want it for free. Fable 3. Now you're probably saying, oh, or yay, depending on if you're a fan of Fable, or you want to get into Fable, or you just straight up just hate it. So, Fable 3. I have never, and I mean ever, played a Fable game. I know about the franchise. I know it's kind of big. Not in recent years big, but big when it first came out. And I mean big. I saw that fucking first Halo up for Halo. First Fable fucking commercial. It's all the ads were all in Game Informer and Xbox Magazine and all that stuff. And it was a big thing, but I personally didn't really, like, you know, saw it as a good thing to me. Like, um, what is this? I don't know. Whatever. But, uh, in a general way, Fable 3, if it came this long, all this way, from the third, from the first game to the third game, which is not a bad thing, uh, it has to be pretty good in some ways. 
And and now there's like a Fable Heroes, a Fable something, uh, I don't know, whatever. But just the main Fable games are pretty good, as I'm hearing. And, you know, it's basically the choose your life kind of thing. So that, that's pretty interesting. So I never played a Fable game. This is probably be my first one. And I'm not, I'm not sure if it's the best one or it's the worst one to get into the series. But it's a Fable game nonetheless. So... Fable 3, you can get right now on your Xbox Live Arcade. Well, actually, on Xbox Demand, because it's actually on that section, not the arcade room. Uh, it's free, but this is the catch. This is the only why it's catch. Why it's free. And I do mean, this is the only catch. Now, hold on, it's pretty hot in my house, and I mean it's hot as a motherfucker. I'm sweating. Now, this is the reason why it's free. <clears throat> Xbox, they're trying to, you know, have the one-up competition with Sony. They're probably thinking, oh, yeah, we got Nintendo, like, all down. We, we don't have to worry about them. But they're super wrong on that. But anyways, what Xbox is doing, you know how what, uh, well, they're, they're doing what Sony's doing. Sony, remember, you know the PlayStation Plus thing that, you, whatever, you know how you, like, you get free games for whatever month, and then you can download it and just keep it forever, probably with the description of it. They're doing the same thing, but better. A little. A little better. It's a little better. Uh, the, all the games that they're giving out on the verse, on uh, the Xbox Live, uh, with the, gold, the demand stuff, uh, so far it's only Fable 3. But this is how it goes. If you have... Xbox Live, like gold membership, you are already going to get the game for, game for free. But if you're a silver membership, which means you're not playing online because you can't, but you can still message people and talk to one person at a time on Xbox Live, but you can't play with them, you can't get the game at all. You have to be an Xbox Live member. I'm serious about this. I'm on Xbox Live. I have a gold membership. Uh, it doesn't expire until like February. I'm good for the next year. Or, well, you know, nine months or something now. But, that's the only way you can get the game for free. If you're interested at all with the game, but I'm just saying, it's not a bad thing. But they're putting more games eventually sometime out soon. They already announced two more games, but they didn't announce when they're coming out. Or when they're going to be free. So you're gonna be seeing in a few in the future by me saying I'm gonna be getting the virtual the the the, the downloadable version I should say that of Halo 3 yes Halo 3 if you never got Halo 3 this is your chance and Assassin's Creed 2 if you never got into Assassin's Creed or never got the second game and I do mean the second one not Brotherhood or anything like that. I do mean second. This is your chance. I personally already have Halo 3. I mean... The limited edition version of Halo 3. I have it. It's it's a huge motherfucking thing. I got this in launch. Back in 2007. About. So. Or it was. I don't know. Whatever year. So yeah. And then, like, I also have a Halo 3 ODST, which has a multiplayer version of Halo 3. With all the maps on it. <clears throat> so. Sorry, just putting it back. Uh, for me, I'm still going to get the damn thing. If it's free, it's free. Seriously, if you don't even want it, like now. Let's say I don't want it right now. Let's say I don't want it right now. I will be downloading it, though. But then I'll probably cancel it. Because if you do that, uh, your Xbox Live account notices that you downloaded it. It says you got it. It says you bought it. Got it for free. Bam! It's your account. It's on your account now. You can have it whenever for forever. <laughs> for never forever. But uh, a lot of people don't notice that. Seriously. Let's say I'm getting Castle Crashers on the Xbox Live Arcade. And let's say I'm, let's say my hard drive, or I just don't want the game anymore. I delete it, and <clears throat> it's gone. But my account, my account says I still have it. As in, I can download it anytime re-download anywhere I wanted to if my account is on the console. So, that's what's the point of it. If you don't want it now, 
at least click on download now and it would pops up the activity downloads list you can do stop downloading or delete it like seriously you can do that if you do that you go back to your like let's go to your settings let's go to your settings you go to your uh, account you go to downloads your most recent download or say Fable 3 or Halo 3 or something like that or just cast crashers what I was trying to example we say it says Castle Crashers. You want this time you actually want to get it in case you deleted something or now you want to play it or for some god reason you did. Okay, just say you get you, you you know you click it and this time it says do you want to re-download it? You do it, you get it and you got it again. This time you actually got it like again you know. So that's what's the point of it. If there's something bad you know like it's always a point. Many people don't realize this stupid thing. You can re-download it. Seriously, you can re-download it. So, that's why I'm actually kind of agreeing with Xbox to download it for free when you got it. Seriously. Now, remember what I said, this, op this deal is not as good as the PlayStation Plus, but maybe a little bit. Of it's just because of that. But when you, don't, when you lose your Xbox Live Gold membership, this is what happens. You keep the game. I mean, you keep the game. It's not like PlayStation Plus that you have to have PlayStation Plus to play any of the games on the PlayStation Plus. At all. So, you keep the game. Like, you literally keep the game. Xbox is not checking if you have an Xbox Live uh, Gold membership anymore. Or anything like that, I mean. But, you keep the game. So, that's the biggest thing right there. And PlayStation's not doing that. You have to have PlayStation Plus. And, well, well, actually, in the near future, if you go to PS4, you're going to have to have Fidget Plus. You'll play online. Because that's going to have to be a kind of big thing now. But anyways, pointing out, because that was a really big thing that a lot of people just don't realize you could do. And it's a lot of good things that people just don't honestly know about. So, there you go. Alright. The next two games, and these are the last two downloadable version games. And I know this video is pretty long enough, but I'm just trying to point out a, a reason here, okay? Alright. The next game is Phantom Breaker Battlegrounds. Now, I got this game because I played the demo of it. I I, I recorded it on my main channel, Exceeding Shadow. Go, go check that out. Uh, and I really did like the game a lot. I only had enough for about two games that were about, uh, I don't know, 800 Microsoft points or 1,200. I had exactly two, no, 2,000 Microsoft points. And probably like 60 points left over or something like that. So, I had that. And I was kind of deciding what I want. So I had those Microsoft points like almost five months now. And I just didn't know what to do with them. So, I was deciding what should I get from these. It's like, is there any new games I want to be getting? I looked at all the new game section. There was nothing. I know there's some games that's coming out recently that I know about like... Castle of Illusion, starting Mickey Mouse HD Remix version, and uh, DuckTales Remastered. But honestly, I'm getting DuckTales Remastered on the Wii U. But I don't know about Castle of Illusion because they haven't announced it on the Wii U. But I will figure it out in the future. So They haven't came out with it yet. So anyways, uh, Phantom, Breaker Bracco <laughs> Phantom Breaker Battlegrounds. It's a very, very fun game. I, I really gotta say that. If you played, or if you have, whatever... Let's just say you played, I guess. If you played Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, or TMA, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time, or anything like that, it's a beat em up side scroller. That's what it is. It's an RPG beat em up side scroller. So, Scott Pilgrim like thing, basically. And that's what's really fun about it. It's also a Castle Crashers kind of feel of it. So, I really like it. It's, it's a lot of anime feel of it, and I do like anime shows. But, you know, I like it a lot, so. I, I played the demo, it was really fun. They actually show off some Nintendo and Sega references, along with Xbox and Sony, so that's very fun. So, I gotta admit that. Alright, so next is Rocket Knight. Now, you're probably saying, what's Rocket Knight? Rocket Knight! I didn't know much about it. Sorry, it's very sweating. I didn't know much about it in the last past two years. When Rocket Knight on the Xbox and PSN came out, I kind of looked at it, and I was like, okay, I was look up some stuff about this on, like, internet or something like that. So I did, but I found out that they're 
was a previous game in the Rocket Knight series. It came out on the Sega Genesis, which I never knew about. I mean, like, I never knew about. But when I saw it in the gameplay of it, I instantly wanted to get it. But I never got the Sega Genesis version of it. Rocket Knight Adventures, that's what it's called. But this version, I don't know if it's a remake. I don't know if it's a sequel. But it's just called Rocket Knight. That is it. Rocket Knight is a very fun game. I also demoed it on my own on my main channel. Go check it out. And it's very fun. I got to point it out. But I don't know if it's too fun that it's super pricey. Because it's very pricey for the game. I don't know if it's a long game at all. But it's very fun. I got to admit that. So go check out Rocket Knight. Or Rocket Knight Adventure for the Second Genesis. Uh, I do want to know if it's on the WiiWare. Or the Wii Virtual Console. I'm hoping it is. So let me go check after this, because it's a good game. Rocket Knight Adventures. Gonna go look that shit up. <laughs> Alright, um, now I have one more episode after this. It's just, it's not gonna be a long one like this one, because it was all downloadable versions of games. And it was gonna be, it's a little longer because I've explained the whole Xbox, PlayStation Plus situation stuff they're doing. But, uh, next episode, I don't have that many games talking about, because they're only, uh, uh, discs. I don't think I should even make another episode for a while because I only have two games that's disc based. And I don't want to make a whole video just depending on two games. I like having four and above. Uh, so, uh, that's what I might do. I just might wait on getting more games. So, anyways, uh, overall, if you liked the video, subscribe, leave a comment set below, and of course, like it. So, as always, my name is Rick Seen Shadow, and I'll see you guys for the next episode of Shadow Gaming Pickups, when I pick up more things, let's pick this up, we pick that up, and pick this shit up, and pick it up, pick, we pick another one of those things up, okay, we got a lot of things we picked up, <laughs> that's a parody of myself, because <laughs> it's funny in a way, because, you know, picking up stuff, so, But anyways, in general, I'll be seeing you in the next episode, which I don't even know when. I might not even be a scruffy looking, and I'm serious about that, so. Anyways, I'll see you guys for the next episode, okay? Deuces.